Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to My Deep Guide. And in today's episode, here it is. This is the books tab mini C. It has arrived and we're going to be doing the unboxing and first impressions in this video. So not an in-depth review, just as the title says, unboxing and first impressions. Um, the unit has been kindly sent to me by books, but this is a review loan unit. I don't get to keep it. What I do get to keep is my own integrity and my own opinions. They get to share with you guys. So that kind of independence really does help. But in, as you can see, there are no uh, uh, sponsored videos or anything like that. And that's where you guys come along. So if you do like the work that I do on my deep guide and you value the independence that I bring to the channel, then do like the video, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And if you really want to help out the channel even further, go to mydeepguide.com slash shop, where you can find two products, My Daily Organizer, which is a daily organi organizer for all your yearly, quarterly, monthly, uh, weekly, daily uh, organizing needs and planning and a diary and all sorts of things. And My Meeting Planner, which is also a hyperlinked PDF file to help you manage your meeting notes actions and all of these things and all it's it's just like a comprehensive tool to manage all of the things that you need to manage in a regular type of um, meeting situation if you're interested to learn more about either of these products please do check out the links down below where you can find a dedicated playlist with videos made for both mdo my daily organizer and mmp my meeting planner Watching those videos will help you determine if either of those two products is the right one for you or not. And purchasing either of those products help the independence of my deep guide directly. All right, and now off to the unboxing. And here is the package that I have received, the Books Tab Mini and a Tab Mini series cover. So does that mean that they might be actually releasing more than one so maybe a black and white version since it's tab mini series hmm, we shall see let's focus on the unboxing of the device first but before i start just a little bit of information about what books tab mini c is it's the latest 7.8 inch device from books and is the latest edition in the tab series the tab series are the devices that are gpu enabled with a dedicated gpu you added to the device so that it can help with um, eliminating ghosting, smoothing the display image, etc. etc. The C is that this is a color model utilizing the Kaleido 3 panel, which, as we have seen with the Tab Ultra C, uh, generally speaking, does bring quite a lot more to the table, uh, although it is still a Kaleido screen, which means that it's going to be darker than a regular screen um, and that the color resolution is going to be half of the black and white resolution because of the way how the um Kaleido screen functions. The specifications are actually really powerful because this is a tab device. Octa-core CPU here, four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, non-expandable. Android 11 still, I would have expected 12 or 13 by now. An absolutely massive 5,000 milliamp battery, which is necessary to uh, fulfill the tab section or the GPU. The GPU is really power hungry, so the, the battery consumption in these tablets is a lot more therefore a bigger battery uh, regular um, Wi-Fi communication Bluetooth support and all of the rest of the stuff so yeah that's basically the specifications of this thing and now let's uh, open it up and see what we get And here it is okay all right so it is definitely heavier than what I'm used to with the Nova and the thickness that I was thinking about from the promo images is most definitely there so that big battery had to fit somehow into the small housing of the Nova series and the only way that they could do it was by inflating it 
in the thickness department. All right, let's see what we get in the package. I'm expecting standard by now. And no, it's not standard because you do not get the Pen 2 Pro. You're getting the regular pen, even though it is kind of different material here. And it's a little bit better plastic than it was before. As you can see, it's a bit more matte and feels a bit more, more better in the hand. So yeah, but this is the ordinary pen that does not have an eraser on the back and does not have a button on of any kind. So it's just the cheap pen or the cheaper pen that Books has. Um, that comes with the Tab Mini C. Huh. And you get the USB C to USB A cable and the supporting documentation. And again, saying Books Tab Mini series, which I think is a strong indication that there will be other Books Tab Mini devices, probably even during this year, knowing Books. Well, we'll shall see. So it is a fairly standard packaging for the Books Tab Mini. You get the device, you get the regular pen, not the Pen 2 Pro, you get the USB-C cable, and you get the um, documentation. What's kind of strange is that, you're, at least in the package that I received, you don't get the um, nib extraction tool nor the extra nibs. And yeah, the, 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 the non-inclusion of the Pen 2 Pro, again, doesn't kind of fit the fairly high price tag of the Tab Mini C. So those things, the contents are a little bit uh, sparse and a little bit uh, surprising, not in a good way, uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as the Tab Mini C goes. All right, so let's slide the device out of the protective pouch and let's see how it is. Well, the weight is the number one thing that it strikes me because I've owned my Nova Air 1 for a very, very long time. I've just recently sold it because I didn't really need uh, so many devices, so I had to cull down things. I wish I didn't because, first of all, it's an excellent device and I do miss it. And uh, second of all, I would be able to kind of directly compare it with this, but this feels a lot more heavier than the Nova Air one. That is absolutely for sure. And the the whole point of a 7.8 inch device is that it's portable and easy to handle. This, I'm, I feel the weight quite a lot. Actually, it's, uh, it is a big difference. And Nova Air 1 was not a light device for a 7.8 inch uh, format to begin with because of the all metal and glass construction, which we have here. So let me just bring the scale here because uh, one thing I know for certain is that on the book's uh, site, it says that the weight is 265 grams, but my point of contact with books uh, clarified upon me asking again, how much does it actually weigh? Um, that, that it weighs just more than 265 grams because they haven't included some kind of things and that, that they're aiming to correct that. Now that was about a week ago and I've recently checked or just, just before I started with this uh, unboxing, I've checked the website and it was still standing at 265 grams. So now let's check out and see how much does it actually weigh and what the real situation is here. <laughs> 311 grams, just the device. And with the pen, Three hundred and twenty six grams in total. Okay, that's just a pen, which is yeah, those fifteen grams, which is fine. So this device is three hundred and eleven grams, and my uh, let's let's compare it to its you know closest predecessor, which is the Nova Air Two. Nova Air Two was two hundred and thirty-five grams. So we are talking about the weight discrepancy that I do uh, definitely, most definitely feel here is seventy-six grams more. So this is seventy-six gra grams heavier 
than its Nova Air predecessors. And um, the difference doesn't really stop there because the thickness is also a lot thicker. Nova Air 2 was 6.3 millimeters thick or thin or whatever you want to call it. This one is 8.3 millimeters thick. So we got a device here that is right out of the box 76 grams heavier than its predecessor and 2 milliliters uh, thicker than its predecessor. And when you actually put that into perspective, I'll give you the percentages. This device is 32% heavier than the Nova Air 2 and 31% thicker than the Nova Air 1. So that's quite, quite a lot and I do feel it. I immediately do feel it. For me, the point of a portable device is, which a 7.8 inch device should be, is exactly the portability factor of it. Because you want to accept the compromise of the smaller working area, of the smaller footprint, 7.8 inches, and you're sacrificing the 10.3 inch comfort and all, um, yeah, basically real estate for the portability factor of it. But right out of the gates, Tab Mini C does not deliver in the portability department because it is too heavy at 311 grams. This is too much for uh, um, uh, a small device like this. And 8.3 millimeters is perilously thick, especially when you actually add the cover, which brings me nice segue into let's unbox the cover. All right, let's open it up. It's standard packaging by now and standard opening of trying somehow not to rip this as I need to send it back. There we go. I wish it was a little bit different, but it's not a big deal. All right, let's slide it out. Hey, this is a brand new thing for the small ones because it has a flap. That's pretty kind of cool. Maybe there was another one with the flap. I unbox so many things, I really don't know if this was books or not. But this kind of looks pretty sweet. Do not eat. Nom, 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 nom. All right, so here is the cover for the Tab Mini series. And the build quality seems to be quite nice. It doesn't have multifunction stand functionalities, and that's something that I'm fine with because I would rather have a device do fewer things but do them well than attempt to do many things and fail at all of them. So the in the outside is a synthetic material definitely but it does have this kind of structure that resembles a leather. The build quality is nice but we still do not have the stitching on the sides which definitely will be something that will affect the longevity of a cover and but when I say that I mean years and years and years so let's say three to five years or something like that I think that you will see some uh, tearing on the corners as this is something that has happened before on other models um, inside is a nice kind of plushy soft ish not not super soft but plushy type of um, uh, surface which is very cool to protect your device not to scratch it and on the side we have a nice flap with obviously a magnet to hold. Is there a magnet here? No, so, so, so it's not going to be able to hold closed or hold at the back, but I guess you can do this. <laughs> no, no. Can I do this on the back? No. Okay, fine. All right, let's see. Stop it. You stay opened. No, no. Fine. Be that way if you want to be that way. Let's weigh this first and then the whole package together. All right, so let's see. The cover weighs round 150 grams exactly. I like round figures. So that's, uh, but that's quite, quite high number to add on top of an already high number for the uh, Tab Mini C. Anyway, let's now just put the device in. So obviously, I think everything should be just 
magnetic and yes it snaps very very nicely in place this does it have a magnet yes it has a magnet excellent and it's up here so that's cool i like that and this one goes down there okay actually no the complete the complete package would be like this and then like this so i have to say that this is a very very elegant looking packaging despite the weight and the thickness and everything when you put this flipbook cover it transforms it into a portable tablet pc which tab mini c is being marketed as so it's not being marketed as a um, portable uh, tablet or a note taker it's being marketed as a portable tablet pc and in that realms i don't really have any other 7.8 inch portable tablet pcs to compare it to so there are no comparisons points that i can use but I can say that this package in total uh, looks very nice. It's easy to kind of handle. And I think that the cover is an excellent accompaniment to the Tab Mini C. It just completes the package in a very, very nice way. And yes, it is weighty. And yes, it is thick, definitely. We're now over 10 millimeters for sure. Um, but let's just see the thickness. What does it say? Let's reset and maybe frame it. Okay, we're at zero. 475 grams for the tab mini c the flipbook cover and the pen that's a lot for a portable device but okay it is what it is all right so let's check out the design and build quality first and what are the first impressions and first impressions are actually very very nice i am a fan of how note air uh, looks like and since this is like a, a bit fatter note air but still note air i think that it looks very very nice on the front we got the flush screen with the surface gone unfortunately is the paper like grayness of uh, the side here which was on the note air one and note air two um so yeah that's something that i'm not a fan of but i guess they couldn't match the darkness of the screen but then again why not i mean it would have been uh, a nice device but you know they're just opted for black like okay so that's a tablet pc and then on the back we have this as you can see it's kind of slight curve here because they had to extend as you can see the shine is here so it kind of bulges out there and it bulges out from the side and from the side to accommodate the extra battery here the color is very nice the material is of course an aluminium uh, alloy of some sort and the build quality is really really good unlike with the well well the edges are okay but there's still a little bit of a protrusion here as you can see and i am and it's quite sharp actually if i'm honest this is fairly sharp this is not as much as it is on the tab ultra and the tab ultra c and no i don't feel it as much here but i again i wish i had my note air one with me i think that i did not feel it that much or like that there's some some issue here there's something here i don't know if it's dirt or metal but it's not uh it's very rugged and kind of very sharp speaking of the screen of obviously color screen because that's the whole point uh reflectivity is quite good actually really good uh there is some sharpness definitely in the reflections here and it is not a paper-like surface whatsoever so if you write it's pleasant but it's pretty much like the Tab Ultra and the Tab Ultra C. So no paper-like feel here. On the bottom, you got your two speakers. There's a microphone, a USB-C for data and communication. 
nothing on either of the sides and on the top you've got your power button that does not double as a fingerprint reader so no fingerprint reader on the tab mini c overall i like the design but as i've already commented i think that it is too heavy and it is too bulky for a portable device this is not going to be comfortable to use for any kind of prolonged time especially with a prolonged with a device like this i like to like sit on my back and read on top and more often than not sometimes devices do fall on me or on my head and this is actually now a considerable weight that's metal uh, that would fall on you so yeah something to kind of keep in mind all right so let's do the first power up and first impressions of of course the writing and the screen and all that kind of stuff so that we can see what we're dealing with and then we wrap up with the conclusion of the first impressions okay powering up uh, they come usually pre-charged, so hopefully that is going to be the case here. Um, the screen itself is Kaleido 3, but uh, it does have the same resolution as the Tab Ultra C, but in a smaller format. So you get 300 ppi and 150, uh, 150 ppi color, 300 ppi black and white. But it wouldn't be nicer actually to see if they've increased the resolution on a 10.3 to 300 ppi it would have been very nice to see even denser resolution on a tab mini c but that's not the case all right so let's do the initial setup onboarding process has been improved so for for several uh, kind of uh, 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 os versions now and you have the option of actually choosing between wow that's unresponsive what What the? Well, I was supposed to, now he's, no. Okay, this is unusually unresponsive. It does eventually, but not only is it unusually unresponsive, but it's also really slow when it does respond. Okay, well, that was not my intention to show you, but there it is, part of first impressions. What I wanted to show you is that you have the option of actually doing the navigation bar or choosing bottom gestures, what they should be like, right? So you can actually choose these things. Very unresponsive. That's not normal. But this is the one I wanted to show, and finally they've changed it. The side gestures, especially the volume is fine, but the back gesture on the side conflicts with some vitally important functionalities in NeoReader, in the notebook and all of these things. And it's uh, previously it was uh, remained as on by default and that would cause all sorts of conflicts. So it's good to see that it's actually turned off by default and that you can turn it on if you choose to, but please do turn it off because you're gonna have an even more confusing user experience when you try to flip a page and it just keeps going out of the document or something like that. So let's continue with the onboarding. All right, so um, I've set up the Wi-Fi, customized my uh, navigation gestures, uh, and just transferred a couple of documents to have something to show you and to test the color content with, and transferred that via the USB. So all that worked normally. And also in addition, the um, touch notification and uh, or basically detection of touch works pretty much as expected, and it's fairly good. I didn't have those issues that that I had in the onboarding process. So that leads me to believe that the issues that I experienced were related to the hit boxes in the UI being of inadequate uh, size, meaning they were too small for the user experience to be comfortable. All right, so the first thing that actually hits me is maybe it's the size and maybe it's the contrast with the green, but it looks like uh, green <laughs> with the black. But it looks like the background of the screen is quite a lot greener or maybe not here's the tab ultra C um, I really no no it looks it looks very similar when I put them back to back so maybe it's just that it's a smaller format and then the contrast of the black is I just see more of the black and you can see the thickness here like a lot of thickness 
on the sides and I think that just gives a bit of a different impression and for whatever reason, maybe this is entirely subjective, but for whatever reason I perceive it as a little bit more greener than on the Tab Ultra C, even though when I put them back to back they look identical. So they're probably identical and this is an optical illusion, uh, but it's just like first impressions, so letting you know. Second thing is, um, yeah, the functionalities seem delayed, even though this is a GPU enabled device. So let's get it into a balanced mode and this should improve. Yes, and the yes, the impre the the responsiveness is a lot better there. Ghosting so far is pretty good. So we switch to fast, then it's really fast. It's it's refreshing on every second action. But wait a minute, one, two, one. I mean, detection of gestures is not as reliable as it was on the Tab Ultra C. So that's something that I'm definitely reacting to because I've been using Tab Ultra C so much and uh, there we go. Now it's now it's getting there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but it's it's okay, but it's a little kind of spotty. Um, so, okay, we're gonna be in balanced mode because usually that's where these kind of strive in. All right, so let's check out some uh, documents that I've changed here. So we got an EPUB. It's fairly large EPUB with a lot of um, uh, 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 stuff. Okay, so we got this. Of course, now we have to change the Oh, we have color brightness change as well. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, I need to change the refresh. So now we have that shortcut to refresh. So let's switch it to speed and see how it performs. Okay, so this is pretty good. Very nice and fast. And the display quality, I, I rather like it. Um, so when we are in regal mode, Yes, it's nicer, but we do have color banding and to actually eliminate that I should go to format, no contrast and in enable image smoothing. Yes, please do. And then we have a much, much smoother result. So I'm going to smooth, smooth, <laughs> I'm going to smooth zoom into the screen so and then just start flipping pages so that you can see the details of what we actually have here i'm going to remain in the um uh, uh was it regal mode that they have now just regal mode and speed yeah so we're going to remain in regal mode which is a high quality mode and to see what the tab ultra c is capable of Right, let's switch to something more colorful. How does it handle black colors? Let's see. This is a very heavy document with a super ridiculous front image. And this is actually quite good. The, the darkness is very nice and sharp and the contrast is pretty, pretty good. And the tiny text definitely it handles it very nicely so i'm really really happy with the uh sharpness and the contrast of the screen and the performance is actually quite good even though this is the regal mode oh yeah he's loading up the the big image okay and in the big image we can also see how it renders shades and you can see that it's sh yeah the shading here is very very nice of the 
skin colors here it manages actually to get all of the shades very nicely so this looks really really good actually very 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 good here's a little bit more of how it looks like how it's able to smooth out the colors looks very very nice okay let's find the yep combination of images and text fairly good now let's look at the super tiny text zoom in to the maximum I can't zoom anymore but that is the tininess that we got here and it's actually legible if you had you know a magnifying glass or something like that but the display is actually displaying it so that you can read it interesting so let's zoom out so that you can see the overall uh picture how how the whole thing looks like when displaying images let's see there we go so okay i think that the performance is really good and the image quality is very very nice now what are the default settings that they have here dark color enhancement okay so if i lower the dark color enhancement what do we get then i actually like it a bit better without the strong contrast but basically that's your contrast control so you can add a bit more and then you can yeah, color brightness and vivid enhancements. So for me, um, something mild, maybe like 12, would work. Yeah, this actually works quite nice. And it's able to provide enough contrast, but also not lose details. And it's quite, quite pleasant to look at. All right, let's switch to the uh, speed mode, the rocket chicken mode and get the, the degradation of uh, image, of course, but you gain tremendous amount of speed. <laughs> I'm always just astonished how good this actually uh, performs on the Tab Ultra C and on the Tab Mini C as well. We see the same thing. Uh, it's just astonishingly good performance and very, very minimal ghosting. Now back to the full quality, just to kind of see the images here and they look good. Let's just zoom in here so that people can see an example of the uh, letters and how they are rendered and the quality of these let's zoom in to the maximum as much as i can so for reference my finger so this is really really small but even so it's quite quite legible and yeah the rendering is really really good so you can get the shading it's not just uh yeah it, it's not just like a attempting to do things it's actually managing to deliver quite a lot and yes it has like a newspapery quality to it rather rather than a magazine quality it's much more newspapery quality and it's something that i do like it's uh, it's actually quite pleasant to look at all right let's get on to the notepad experience and see how does that work i'm just gonna use a horizontal line 16 because this is a smaller uh, format so that should be just fine there we go so we are in HD mode okay and let's do some first writing tests and let's zoom in so that you guys can see that a bit better there we go so let's uh, let's start writing and on the new tab mini C. Unless I'm mistaken. No, nope, I'm not mistaken. The, uh, or I am mistaken. Yeah, the first uh, stroke is a bit improved, but it's not gone. It's still delayed 
which is kind of uh, strange but at least it draws so that's good um the writing feel is actually okay despite it not being a paper like type of feel it feels good and i actually like the feel of this pen whatever they've done to it um it feels nicer it feels nicer in the hand the materials are nicer clearly there's an absence of an eraser or a button so that's something that i would have expected especially for a you know a tablet pc that's like e-paper tablet pc that's what you're marketing it as and then you ship a pen that doesn't have an eraser with it for a ginormous price tag mm, not cool so but the latency seems to be on the excellent side really really good um the precision is quite quite good there is definitely some latency it's i don't think it's as blisteringly fast as the kindle scribe so we will measure and we'll see but i think that Kaleido panels simply can't actually deliver that type of performance and let's just check out so um, let's grab a brush make it a wide one and let's test the colors so that you guys can see this is the black color gray medium gray them in <laughs> uh, but so all of these are the colors that you have at your disposal uh, where's the refresh I don't have a refresh maybe if I flip a page he'll figure out nope come on dude yeah uh, where's the refresh I need, um, I need to set up a shortcut for that right yeah there's full refresh there we go all right so this is the gamut of the colors that you have at your disposal and yeah while it's not an accurate representation of the colors especially it's going to struggle with the red and i wish that the green was like not this super dark green which is like really really hard hard dark green and the blue is like deep navy blue so for me the rgbs are the least good ones and these other ones the combinations they're actually quite nice so you can choose from these uh and get something nice but then again the orange was a bit more orangey when i was drawing it and then after refresh it turned into this and there's not much difference between orange and red um, the yellowish is a bit more on the orange tint so all of these things if you're looking like for perfectly or even somewhat of an um, accurate color representation Kaleido technology cannot bring you that and since Tab Mini C utilizes Kaleido technology neither can it however you do have a very nice palette of colors to use from if the color accuracy is not what you're looking for and if that's not the case then 
you can enjoy and then you can actually have quite a bit of colorful content. And the best thing is it's not going to uh, affect the performance because as discussed in the Tab Ultra C video, because of how the Kaleido technology works, it's just shifting black and white ink cells and creates an illusion of good color because it uses that uh, stencil of RGB stencil on top of those uh, basically white and black cells. So you won't lose performance or anything like that. It should be equal across the board. Um, it was equal on the Tab Ultra C. I expect it to be equal on the Tab Mini C as well, which we shall see in the in-depth review. Well, alrighty then. So the Tab Mini C in this case, it's a nice little package. I really love the, 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 uh, the cover. It just is a really, really nice kind of a, a complimentary thing and it just has this nice flap and uh, books indentation on it and it just, it looks really, really nice and uh, it feels really, really nice as well. And somehow, I don't know what the exact thing is, but when I have the whole package in my hand, even though of course it's weightier as we've measured, it doesn't feel inadequately weighty. Maybe because what I'm not, what I'm seeing is a notebook. Like when I'm looking at this, this is like a notebook. And then it just kind of, okay, so it's a heavier notebook, right? But when I open it, then I get to see the portable tablet. And especially when I actually disconnect the tablet, even though it's now 150 grams lighter, than it was inside, my brain is actually kind of making a connection between uh, this one and what I expected, how much I expected to weigh. And then it's just like, oh, this feels heavy. When as in, when I put it in here, oh, th this flap is just constantly and have it like this, then it actually feels a lot better. So, I don't know. I like the overall package, but is it weighty? Yeah, it sure is. So Tab Mini C, first impressions. As you've seen in the product announcement, I've seen from the images and deduced from the 5000 milliamp battery that the device will have to be considerably more heavier and considerably thicker than what the Note Air 1 and Note Air 2 uh, were, and the Note Air C for that matter as well. Um, and that is most definitely the case here. I did not expect it to be this much heavier and I did not expect it to be this much uh, thicker because 32% heavier, 31% uh, thicker, that's, uh, that's a lot and you do feel it. As a portable tablet, as a portable e-reader, as a portable e-note taker, I don't think that this is going to fit the bill and that's why they are marketing it as portable e-paper tablet PC. If there is a market for such a thing, I don't know. We, we will see. We will see how successful the model is. I can safely say that this is not a product for me. That's uh, because for me 7.8 inch uh, format is about portability and ease of use. And this is not it. This is not portable. Even though this is, of course, you can you know, use it and carry it. You can easily carry it because it's such a small format, but the weight and the thickness is prohibitive. And that's not something that I'm uh, kind of okay with for my products, especially not when I'm coming from Note Air 1, which was such an awesome product. And I'm so sad that I sold it. I, I wish I didn't, <laughs> in all honesty. And, and for me, it's kind of really strange to include the cheap pen with the Tab Mini C, especially for the price tag, which is not little. <laughs> Even though it's a small package, the price is not small at all for a 7.8 inch, because it's more expensive than the Note Air 2, for example. Um, unless I'm mistaken, I don't know. I'll, I'll check out the prices and let you know here if I was mistaken or not. But yeah, so the first impressions, as I taught, and, and in, in my actual, you know, product announcement video, 
I'm sure that it's going to be very impressive. I'm impressed by the screen quality. It's really, really great. It renders the colors very nicely. It's not accurate because it's a Kaleido. It can't do that. But for an e-ink color screen, it renders them really, really nicely. Uh, the performance is blisteringly fast, uh, the ghosting is not an issue, it performs like Tab Ultra C, but in a smaller format, which is great if that's what you're looking for, plus it doesn't have a camera bump on the back, which is definitely a cool thing. So yeah, this, uh, this thing I think is a very niche kind of a product because it will appeal only to a certain type of an audience. Um, but right out of the gate, I think that, I don't know, maybe some people with, you know, manga and uh, other type of comic books might like it. But then again, it doesn't have a expandable uh, micro SD slot, which is usually what that type of audience requires because, uh, I don't know, reasons. Um, so it doesn't have that. Um, some of the users are really picky as far as the color in representation goes, so they might be picky about this, but that's like really, really nitpicking because, you know, it's an e-ink screen and for an e-ink screen as a coloring screen, it's just, uh, it performs really well and it renders really well. So I don't have any qualms about the quality of the product and, and what it does. I think already now I see that it's like, I don't have another competitor out there that can actually measure to this and that's even before actually testing it in depth and all of those kinds of things already now well, like what 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 are you going to compare it against there's there's nothing on the market that can actually rival this and then you add the gpu on top which actually clears things up and brings it to a, another level so this tab mini c seems like a great product but I don't know. I, I don't know. It's it's an interesting product. I'm going to give it a benefit of a doubt and start spending time with it. And maybe it kind of, you know, wins me over. Maybe I get on to the dark side um, and, you know, flip the, the, the perspective after spending time with it and working on the tests and things like that. And by the time I bring you the in-depth review, maybe my perspective changes. So I'm going to keep my open mind for that. And maybe you should as well. Um, but I wanted to bring you the first impressions here, my honest take on it and exactly how things are. And first impressions are, it's exactly what I thought it would be from the product announcement. And it's not something that I am a fan of. But then again, I don't know of a faster and higher performing and higher spec 7.8 inch e-ink tablet, let alone 7.8 inch e-ink color tablet. There's nothing that can actually rival this at the moment. So there's definitely that to consider as well. All right, I hope that you liked the video and that you found it informative or useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Also, let me know in the comments down below what your impression is of the Tab Mini C. Uh, is that something that you are interested in? Do you find it as a potentially useful product with, with, with a smaller format like that? Because it has blistering performance and it offers something that no other 7.8 inch device offers. So the color performance and the screen performance and all of that. So maybe that's enticing enough to overlook the added weight, the added thickness and the really, really high price tag. So let's get the discussion going because it's interesting to actually see and it's helpful for me to understand what are the varieties of perspectives from different users so that i can actually utilize that uh, in my in-depth reviews and bring as an objective and as an open-minded um, uh, perspective to these devices as i possibly can thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye